Here we go. She is ready. The following is a championship first round match. Making her way to the ring from Orlando, Florida. If you listened to After the Bell this week, you know this is a match I've wanted to see for quite some time, and it's almost time to start. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. The Poison Pixie has returned. And from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One half of the WWE's resident power couple. I'm not in the ring, Saxton. A win here tonight will reestablish LeRae. Well, you can tell that's in the forefront of her mind here tonight. And of all the possible matchups in this tournament, I'd say we've got one of the best in front of us right now. Look, I'll admit I've had my fingers crossed it would work out this way. This one has real show-stealing potential. Oh, somehow! Staying in this one. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, my God! B-Fab setting herself up top. From the top, elbow drop. This could do it. And quick getting the arm up. Just powered out. Forward oh. smash. That's going to hurt. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. B-Fab has a lot to prove coming into this match, and she has the talent to do it. How do you avoid ending up on the wrong end of an upset? There's no questioning the swagger or the drive of B-Fab, but her experience level just doesn't match up. It's a huge vulnerability waiting to be exploited. Dominating shoulder tackle. Knee lift! Both arms hooked. The full Nelson slay goes into the pin. She powers out immediately there. She is still very much in this. She sent flying into the corner. Look at this, going counter for counter. Dominating shoulder tackle. Moves up to the gut, too. Quick thinking pays off. Oh, what the stop. Candace, can she score the pin? Oh, this is one of the most incredible comebacks that I think I've ever witnessed. Ah, oh, she can't take advantage of the opening. Held in a perilous position. Lands face first. And B-Fab. 
looking out of her element on that one. And Fab with the counter. Well executed takedown. Ah, stop in the leg. Just nasty. Taking out the knee. Placed in the corner. Oh, quite an effective counter. These two trading counters in an absolute master class. Oh, she fights BFAT back. What a counter. Two fists full of hair. This can't be legal. Oh, just dropped her like she was nothing. She's up on that top turnbuckle. She won't be for long. Oh, my God, all the way to the floor. Things are looking dark on the top. Through the air and connects. What a reckless attack. Off the top rope, putting it all on the line. A burst of offense from B-Fab. B-Fab is backing up every word right now. And returning to the ring. Looks like Candace is locked in on their opponent. Oh, suicide. Oh, no! That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. Put down. A steady stream of moves taking out LeRae. Wow, what a close try. It's still going. Still executing. Three in a row now. Their opponent stumbling into the corner. Shoulder block over and over in the corner. Complete dominance. This is a neck breaker attempt. Oh, look at the power. Great resistance and a neck breaker counter. Candice LeRae misses Gargano. Oh my goodness, critical point of the matchup. It could be over, right? The arm is trapped in the cross face. There's no escape. Oh, oh yeah, there is. is. <laughs> Front face lock applied, has the leg hooked. Swinging fisherman neck breaker. Hell of a move by B-Fan. I'm impressed. This isn't gonna be pretty. Hangman's neck breaker. Oh, gosh. B-Fan turned the lights off. You cannot question the resolve of Candice LeRae. Incredible ability to get out of dire straits. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But with a shoulder. Great quickness. Let's roll through. Into the pin. Great combination. Got her. Here is your winner. Well, that came out of nowhere. And an unexpectedly quick end to this match. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you gotta be on your toes at all times.